astrologyaddiction.com and thank you so much for watching. I want to do a quick mini reading today on Alexa Demi. She is the character um, Maddie from Euphoria and she was one of my favorite characters for sure. I think that um, Euphoria is a HBO series so if you haven't seen it definitely check it out. It's definitely known for being um, a a film with really empowering and powerful women. Um, it has amazing, you know, soundtrack. Um, it has amazing fashion, makeup, and it's an amazing coming of age um, series. So check it out. Um, Zendaya is the main character, but there are a lot of other really powerful roles um, as well that are a little dark. And it's it's sort of a show where you watch it and the visuals of it, just the videography, um, the character's depth to each character and how in-depth they go to each person in their, their lives, how they're growing. Everyone's in high school, so I think Alexa Demi plays Maddie very well. I was really intrigued by her character just because I could relate to it a lot. And of course, she's gorgeous. Now, her astrology chart, I knew she was very um, fiery and probably had a lot of fire in her chart. Uh, a Twitter was definitely buzzing about her astrology chart. She has a Sagittarius Sun conjunct Mercury. Uh, it's actually Kazemi, so it's exactly conjunct. Uh, Mercury is 18 and her son's 19, so uh, very, very powerful with that. She has uh, Aries Moon at 11 degrees. Mars is at 29 degrees of Leo. So uh, starting off with these three things, uh, she's a fiery, confident, passionate, go-getter type of girl and you know I don't know what exactly her growing up life was like I know she was born in Los Angeles um, you know she is Hispanic and she's an interesting person so having a lot of fire in your chart it can make you really ambitious and really um, you know fight for what you want say what you think say what you want and not be afraid to uh, play the roles that um, you need to in life to get where you want to go and that translates into acting very well. You know, she has her Mars at 29 Leo. I see Leo in the placements of a lot of public actors, actresses, musicians, artists, um, anyone in the public eye because people with Leo placements love the attention. And they, they kind of, not so much like need it, but once the camera's on them or they have a role to play, they step up to the plate, they're not shy, they're not afraid, um, they, you know, make it happen. And 29 degrees is the critical degree of the sign, so it's really the most powerful energy of that sign. So, you know, when she takes on a character, gets creative, gets into the role of whatever she is deciding to do, you know, she can really embody it and really show up for that. Um, so it's powerful and it's really exciting to see that. Um, now her moon, she can definitely have a hot temper with an Aries um, moon. Quick to action, quick to feelings. Her emotions can be like this and then kind of back down even keel. Uh, a lot of times fire signs um, don't really stay too depressed um, emotionally uh, for very long. We, you know, we do definitely, but we're the type uh, of fire signs a lot can can crawl out of that and find the hope and the brightness, the reason to keep going. So Sagittarius, Sun, Mercury, she knows who she is. She knows what she wants. She knows you know what to say, how to get it. Um, and I think that's helped her a lot with her career. She has probably really strong beliefs as well, whatever they may be. So she played this role really, really well. And I think that her Venus in Scorpio actually really helped her to kind of dig deep into those characters and be able to show that raw emotion on film for us to experience with her. Um, and, you know, be able to really show up for those, uh, those hot sexual scenes and those, you know, the dancing performance that goes back to her Leo Mars. Um, but even the emotional like conversations with her boyfriend, I think uh, a Venus in Scorpio, well, you know, we are, Venus and Scorpios are very um, loyal and they're very, um, you know, determined and they want someone all to themselves. But, you know, she was cheating on him in the show too. So she could kind of pull from different parts of herself to really make that seem real. Her Chiron's in Virgo, so when we see your Chiron in Virgo, you can be very self-critical and um, very critical of other people, very health conscious. Um, you need to probably have a really strict diet. Probably during you know filming and her acting career, she's 
she could have maybe had some health things come up for her uh, throughout her life, but as long as we're, you know, taking care of ourselves mentally, uh, especially that's that's when that starts to kind of ease up and we don't have so many issues there. Pluto's also in Scorpio, her Jupiter's in Sagittarius. Um, all of these things, you know, are, are pretty interesting and can can make someone more explosive and expressive and not scared of what people think. So the only thing that I really see any insecurities coming from, uh, you know, is maybe that, that Chiron and even, uh, you know, she has Pluto square her Mars. Pluto's at 28 degrees Scorpio, Mars is at 29, very close square. So she can even be, uh, maybe a, could have possibly been a violent person or had really explosive physical physical charges. You know, when you have that Mars to Pluto, especially in a square, we can be people, you know, people can be very outwardly explosive if they are, you know, feeling attacked or, you know, they need to go out and let that emotion out physically. And I think acting is a perfect way for her. Um, you know, dance as well uh, seems really to be um, something that she likes to do. So that's also great for that. But this is my quick reading for Alexa Demi and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, you can see my link in the description box. I'm also on the iStar Horoscope app. Have a good day, bye.